Hey guys, it's Kyle from Mission Start, and we have a cool new application for you called MultiFlow. MultiFlow is an application that allows you to take the old backgrounder application and add a few new UI elements and basically allows you to have true multitasking on the iPhone and iPod Touch. Now, this device here is an iPhone 3GS, and now that's important because the 3GS has twice as much RAM as the 3G and the 3G has more RAM than an iPod Touch and so forth, uh, although the new iPod Touches have been upgraded. So depending on your hardware, it depends on how many applications you can background at one time. Now to after this in application is installed, the icon looks like this, and uh, ap after it's installed, all you do is double tap the home button, and it will bring up your list of applications that you're currently running. Now in, in preparation for the video, I've opened up several uh, applications, as you can see, and I have, um, you know, about 10 up. Sorry about the drop in frame rate. I'm using stream, streaming software, so it's going to be a little bit choppy. But um, as you can see, they're all, uh, you know, they're all here. And so what represented as the icon is the actual window. So that is my background, as you can see, in Safari. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that. And what it will do is it will open right up. We can go back to the double home button. And we can go right back to my springboard by tapping on it. And now, uh, another element that has just been in a recent update, and uh, this has been, I'm in the, currently in the uh, trial period. You can download this for free via the uh, Rock, your iPhone application, the Rock app, and uh, get a trial. So my trial expires in four days. It's absolutely free. And then you can buy the full application for $4.99. Uh, so what you can do is there is added preferences. So when you tap on the application, you can go to open with, and then the home button, single tap, press and hold, press and hold. Uh, and things of that nature, and then you can blacklist applications that uh, you do not want to be able to background with. Stuff that may cause you some sort of issue, but I'm not going to even worry about that right now. And what it'll do is it'll respring whenever you change the settings. But uh, real quick, just to show you how to background an application. So we're going to go into Spring Back, and we have a video on that uh, on my channel if you want to check that out. Um, and uh, my background or my springboard setting segregation, the good kind. Uh, we can basically go ahead and uh, click and hold the home button, and it'll do is say backgrounding enabled, and then send you back to your springboard. And what you what it now it allows you to do is double tap the home button, and if I scroll all the way over, uh, you'll see that segregation, the good time, and spring back is available. So we can go ahead and hit that and open it up. Uh, Basically, that's pretty simple. And if you want to um, disable applications, obviously, you just hold the home button again within the application. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you that. And that's negative. <laughs> this should be interesting to look at. Uh, so if I want to quit the calendar application uh, or the photos application, what I can do is simply hold the home button once more. It'll say backgrounding disabled. And go back up to the home button now and we double tap. The photos application is no longer there. But um, this has been a quick basic tutorial on it. And uh, if you guys have any more questions, you can go ahead and leave it in the comments or PM me. But uh, this has been Kyle from Mission Start. And thank you for watching.